So before we get into how to do it, I just want to talk a little bit about how this happened because it's been my experience in life that, you know what, we're all a little bit like this. We're, we're all a little bit like teenagers in a lot of parts of life. In other words, we think we got it wired, right? <laughs> Until it blows up. It's hard for us to take advice or listen. We got to experience it for ourselves. And this, this particular picture, it depicts a major problem. And this is exactly what was happening to me. It's been a long time now. It was 1991. And in 1991, I was building my first business. And, and I'm not going to go into how that started. That's in the book. It's, you know, it's my story. It's all over the place. But, um, you know, it was 1991, and I was building a business, and I was having success. I mean, I was really starting to crush it. It was the first time I'd ever had any significant success in something of my own doing. And you'd have to know my background to know, you know, all the stuff that I came from, low esteem, didn't grow up with anything, you know, didn't have much ambition, just a very introverted, you know, I, I mean, just have wired for anxiety and depression. I mean, all the reasons, right? And, and so I'm building, the, building this business. Things are going great in my business and I am really unhappy. I'm like, what is the deal? Well, the deal was my health was terrible. I mean, I, I had autoimmune issues. I had gained quite a bit of weight. I felt ter I was sick all the time. I had upper respiratory infections all the time. And this is just a little bit. I mean, I, my family history is horrible. I'm not going to go there in this conversation, but physically I was doing very poorly. Pretty easy. Why? I was ignoring it, right? I was totally ignoring it, thinking I was bulletproof. Well, I'm not. Nobody is. Uh, and then my marriage was not doing well and, and not, not any fault of my wife. My, my wife is awesome. She's amazing. And I'm, I'm not the kind of person that ever says I was lucky to have blah, 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 because I've never been a person that got stuff by luck. But I have to say, I got lucky in marriage because I married an unbelievable woman who I've now been married to for almost 31 years who was committed to being married to me when I was a horrible person to be married to, when I wasn't showing up at all in our marriage, at all. I mean, at all. And so I, I realized, you know, I'm, I'm like, gosh, my marriage is struggling and it's me. Well, the common denominator in these problems was me, not anybody else, couldn't point a finger at somebody else because I was chasing a dollar. I was chasing the title. You know, I was chasing the status. I was chasing all that stuff. And I realized, oh my gosh, what, why? What's, the, what's it worth if you lose your health to get that thing? What's it worth? You'd give it all back. And this is not a cliche. If you lost your health, you would give every penny you had to get it back. There's a lot of people right now going through that experience. But, but you know what? That's not new. Almost 4,000 people die a day just in the United States from cancer and heart disease. This kind of stuff on a bigger systemic level goes on all the time. And it's, but, but that is truly from neglect right now, people feeling a little compromised physically because they've been getting it wrong. It leads to compromise, a compromise in relationships, compromise in your, in your health, right? And, and compromise right now, right? That's not a good thing. Same with financially, right? People have been living instant gratification lives, right? And just spending and not, not diversifying. Then they're, they're dealing with that right now, right? Because they're compromised financially. Right? And there's a whole deeper part to that. But the bottom line is these three circles. And that money circle, that could be anything. And I mean, it, it could be a pastor who's so busy being a pastor, right? Certainly not doing that for money, then they're, that they're blowing off their health and, and not taking care of their home life. That, that's, that happens all the time. You know, I, I have a brother who, who died at a very young age. Why? Why? Because that, that money circle was fun. That was his circle, fun. He blew off everything for fun, right? So, hey, you, you got to get these circles in the right order. And uh, <clears throat> that's the key, becoming proactive in getting this right. And so that awakening for me was a game changer because I'm like, I, what's the point? Why would I pursue something that I, if I accomplished it, but the cost of it was either, either my health or my relationships, I'd gladly give it back. I mean, you know what it feels like when something goes wrong with someone you love. How do you feel? Are you happy? I, I would say that you are the opposite of happy, right? You are the opposite of joyful, right? You're twisted up inside. You can't think straight. You can't do anything. You'd give anything for that to go away, right? I mean, that's just the truth. It's just the truth. So that's, that's getting this wrong. Getting it right, oh man, getting it right is really cool.